Welcome back everyone and welcome to today's course. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the ampersand, the AND sign. So when you are calling a function and specifying an argument to that function, then you most often send the actual values of the variables that you are submitting to that function but you can also send the address of that variable and that's what we're going to talk about today i will create a file called ampersand.c and from the beginning it will be a very simple code it will use a function called addition which will take two values int a and int b add them together and uh, return the value very simple just like we've done before to make it easier to see every step i will create a result valuable variable which will contain the result of the operation so a plus b and then we just return the result like this very simple and then i will create a main file a main function where i will create two additional variables x and y i will hard co code the x variable to 5 and the y variable to 15. i will also create an answer variable like this and just like we have done before i will call our addition function supplying x and y as arguments and putting the result in the answer variable finally i will print that value to the screen and exit the program. We'll compile this. Oh, it should be dash O, not dash C. And then we run it. And as we suspected, the result is 20. Nothing new under the sun. But another way of doing the same thing is using the ampersand so instead of returning the return value the result we will supply the address of our answer variable and we'll put the result into that variable directly from the other function let me show you what I mean. We will create a third argument to this one, which we will call, uh, what should we call that? Target. And as you can see, I make this a pointer. Then instead of returning the value like this I will send the address of the answer variable so as a third argument I will send the answer with an ampersand and instead of returning we can even make this a void function void means that it doesn't return any value so it will be just like this. We could omit the return keyword, 
completely. But I think it makes better code if you put it there. So it makes sense that the function is over. Okay, so we can delete this result variable and instead we will set the target to a plus b like this. Notice the star here. If I just did like this, we would try to change this pointers valuable, pointing this pointer to something else. If we put a star here, then we mean we will change what's inside of this, i.e. the address to this variable. Let's see if it works. Okay, it's for sure they don't like that one. Passing, oh, I put it on the wrong order, didn't I? Yeah, I put x, y, answer. Here I have answer x, y. So let's just spin these around a little bit. So we'll put the int target at the end instead. And we'll try again. This time it compiled. Let's see if it gives us the correct value. It does. So today we have learned how to use the ampersand to send the address of a variable to our function. We have learned that we need to make this a pointer. And in order to change that variable, we need to put the star in front of the variable. And the star means that we shouldn't change this variable, we should change whatever's inside of this variable. And that's the address of answer. So we're changing this and then we'll print it out on the screen. So this is just another way of passing values and changing stuff uh, in a function and in another function. And uh, I hope this com must come to use for you. Thanks for watching and thanks for today.